Hi everyone, Janie here and welcome to Crafter's Castle Mixed Media Mania YouTube Video Hop. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> we have a generous sponsor for this hop. It is Create for Less and they are giving a hundred dollar gift certificate to spend at their store. And no, you did not hear me wrong. A $100 gift certificate to spend at Create for Less. And they have every craft supply you can think of. And not just crafts, but I mean quilting and knitting and everything. So you'll definitely find stuff to spend that $100 on if you happen to be the winner. And the hop starts today, Saturday, June 1st. And it goes through Friday, June 7th this year, 2019. So you have a week which is plenty of time to watch all six of these hop videos so that you can see what the other crafters have made. And you're going to love everything everyone has made because they're so creative. And while I'm at it, I want to clarify something. So mixed media, because we are the mixed media mania hop, <laughs> mixed media just means that we're using a variety of media. So I know a lot of people think that it's, you know, this mishmash of stuff, but that isn't necessarily what it means. So I hope that you are going to love everything that we have to share with you today. So all of the information you're going to need is right below in the description box. Just click where it says show more and it'll drop down and there will be links to the rest of the hop videos and a link to create for less and all of the rules and directions that you're going to need to enter this fabulous giveaway. And I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video, but for right now, let's head on over and see what I made. These are the products that I got from Create for Less that I'm going to be using on my project today. First, I'll put a coat of ceramic coat chalk paint on my cheese board, and the color is London Stone. It's a nice dark color and perfect for the base coat of the distressed look that I'm going to be going for. I'm just speeding things up here a little bit so that you don't get bored watching me paint. Next I'll be using Home Decor Texture Chalk in Whisper White to go over the top of the darker color paint. And I'm not going to put it on in a solid coverage. I'm actually giving it kind of a streaked, distressed look. It's one of my favorite techniques and perfect for the project that I'm doing today. I'll just speed this up a little bit for you. I'm going to be using this beautiful napkin and I don't need all of it. So I'm going to open it up and just cut off one of the four squares. And that is what I'll be using. And the next thing I'm going to do is remove that back layer because we do not need that. Looks like there's probably about two layers here. And luckily it came off from the napkin real easy. So this is what we're left with. And what I'm going to do is use a water brush you can use a regular paintbrush if you want, um, or you may just want to just tear it. But I like to get it wet before I tear it. It just makes it easy because I'm just going to be going around the image that I want. Okay, I'm going to be using that on my board. So this is my board with uh, the distressed looking paint job on it. And I'm going to be using Mod Podge matte to adhere my napkin. And I'm going to get it set where I want it. I'll end up getting those edges off, but get it set up how I want it. And I think about right there is how I'm going to do it.
Okay, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Because I want to make sure I get it right where I want it. You don't have a lot of tries with this. Once it's down, it's down. Oh, I got it a little bit crooked. Let's see if it's at all possible to straighten this up a little bit. Okay. Wow, I can't believe I did that. I mean, that I was able to lift it up enough to get it back down. And I'm just gently patting it down. You don't want to rub it with your fingers at all. It will tear. I mean, as you saw while I was using the water brush on it, that um, it will tear fairly easy once it's wet. Okay. I'm actually going to let this dry before I put the next layer on. I know most people would just go right after it, you know, and and put the next layer of Mod Podge on, but I am not going to do that. So what I am going to do though is probably get my water brush and get this side off and get that part off right there. But so far, what do you think? Okay, I didn't let it completely dry, but I think I can go ahead and put a coat over the top of that. So, just start wiping the Mod Podge on. I put a generous amount on my sponge because if it was too dry, I was afraid it would snag the napkin. absolutely love how this has turned out so far and so I'm changing my original plans because originally I was going to be doing some stencil work around it for some texture but I'm not going to do that now I'm going to turn it over I'd already done a little painting on it that I wasn't 100% happy with and I'm going to use this beautiful stencil for the back because I absolutely love, love, love this stencil. So I had to use it, have to use it. And I'll probably be using it for another project coming up in the near future. And I'm gonna be using the same paint that I had used before. So to get started, I'm going to spray the back of my stencil lightly with this stencil adhesive. Don't ask me where I got it. I've had this for over 20 years. So <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but I'm sure there's all kinds of stencil adhesives out there and I'll probably put a link below to one of them. off the back with 
some twine ribbon going across here. And I love, love, love this stencil so much and the way that this turned out that I'm actually going to have to make another one of these because this is actually the back of this, but I actually want one that looks like this. So it's beautiful and I'm going to show you later what I'm going to do with the other one. But for now, let's get back to the front here. Um, and I've used some raffia to create a little hanger up here at the top so I can hang it on a wall. And I wanted to add a flower down here at the bottom. And I got this package of flowers. Absolutely great. You know, this is like, like all of this stuff, it is from Create for Less. And I just love them. But turns out that I don't think the color is right for on here. So what I did was I changed it from that color to that color. And I did that by taking my Distress Oxide. And for this one, I used picked raspberry and got it on my little sponge applicator and just went all around it and just added that, that pink to it to brighten it up and to make it um, blend more with this. So now I'm going to put this together I'll show you pictures of the final project and I will show you pictures of another project. So here are the two projects and to be entered in this giveaway, you need to leave a comment below letting me know which one of these you liked best. So you can say the napkin or the stencil. Thank you all for hopping along with us today and I hope you liked my project. I know you're going to love everyone else's projects, so don't miss out on that. And as promised, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the rules. So here we go. There are six of us, and you need to watch all six videos. And the links are below in the description box, so be sure to click Show More, and you will find the links to everyone's videos. You also need to be subscribed to each of us and we need to be able to see that you're subscribed. So if we go to your channel, we need to be able to see us there. And then you also need to comment on each video. And for my video, I've already told you a little bit ago what you need to be commenting on, on mine, in order to be entered in the giveaway. And you're not gonna wanna miss that, $100. Don't forget that, it's $100 up for grabs to create for less because they are the most awesome, amazing sponsor in the whole world. So, all of that is below, including what you need to do after you do all that, because you're gonna have to email me and let me know. So, click where it says show more, you'll find it all there, and enjoy the rest of the hop, everyone. Happy crafting! Bye-bye!